Hi there beer fans, anybody who's followed me for a little while, seen a couple of my deals will know I love collaborations. Now the collaboration I've got for you today with the beer is slightly different, it's between a brewer and a supermarket and they use each other really really well to collaborate to make what I hope is going to be a really decent beer. Hi I am Andy from Andy's Beer Reviews and what we're reviewing today is the uh, Saltair Breadwinner. Um, Saltair Brewery have used um, leftover bread from the Morrison's Bakery in Bradford and they use it to brew beer. Um, it's a win for Saltair Brewery because it means they get some uh, ingredients for a nice beer and it's a win for Morrison's because it shows their commitment to reducing waste when they can't use it. I think it's in their Athbone um, uh, bakery. So they can't use all the bread so rather than throwing it out they've given it to a brewer to, to, for the brewer to, to do what they can with it. Now bread is made from grains, barley, rye, that sort of thing. It's pretty much malt. Malt is a uh, malted barley um, so they've used it to replace some of that malt and it helps give some extra to the flavour. I think they say it helps, to, it gives uh, a little bit of bready flavour to it and also a little bit of orangey flavour to it as well. But the proof of the pudding, as always, is in the drinking. So let's crack it open, get in a glass and let's see what it's like. Um, so this so there's a collaboration with Morrison's, this came from Morrison's, uh, £1.50, I've got a uh, four for £6 deal. That's pouring a nice golden colour, very golden colour. So this is a 4.4% golden ale, uh, like I say, it's called Breadwinner from Saltair Brewery. Pulled a beautiful golden colour, really nice, two bit finger, lovely type white foamy head. Not seeing any carbonation in that at all. Looking good. Let's see, uh, get a nose in there, see what it smells like. You can smell the bread. In a lot of beers, Particularly the lighter ones, you can smell bread or biscuits, uh, toast, something like that. In this one, it's, the bread is definitely coming through. And there is a citrus aroma in there as well. I think because I've read it and I know it's supposed to be orange, it probably is coming through as orange. If I'm being honest, it's a, it's a non descript or citrus, or, I know it's citrusy, but fairly non descript. And there's also, it is quite subtle. It's also been covered by a um, kind of a floral, grassy note as well. That's very pleasant, that. Let's uh, see what it tastes like. Cheers, everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're getting um, the flavour of lightly toasted malts in there. No pun with toast and, and bread, by the way, intended there at all. It is the toasted malt um, flavour coming through. And there is that, there is a That multi flavour is disappearing, there is a little bit of breadiness in there, and there is a tang of orange. Definitely a tang of orange in there. Now, I must say, for a 4.4, actually, it tastes stronger than that. Or it just, just tastes a little bit stronger. 
Now as a 4.4% you'd expect it to be very sessionable, so very easy drinking when you can drink at the bar, probably drink all night and it not give you that much of an effect. And it probably won't, but it's tasting like a couple of pints of that and it'll probably give you a, 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 um, a rather drunk feeling at the end of the night. Um, but it won't. So perhaps it is, but it is smooth, it is very drinkable. So you are getting that quite a medium mouthfeel as if it's giving you some bite. There is medium bitterness in there, but it's slightly offset, so it's what we call a well balanced. Um, well balanced with the, the sweetness in the malts. It's got a nice long finish as well. I've imagine a couple of these and you would continue to taste that bitterness for quite a while. It's very nice. It's very drying. Sometimes you can drink a gold nail and it tastes thin, tastes weak. Certainly not the case with this one, it does give you that fill-in feeling that you're drinking something substantial, which is quite nice. It's a really, really good example of an English gold nail. I can't fault it. Head stain. That's quite nice. The more you drink. Get around your mouth, that orange orange flavour is going through quite nicely. Look at the colour of it, it doesn't look like, doesn't look like it's going to be very flavoursome. And if I'm being honest, I didn't expect it to be as flavoursome as, as it is. Particularly for a beer like this, I know it's brewed with uh, uh, on behalf of Morrison's. I think you can only get it from Morrison's. Uh, well, you will be able to get it from Morrison's because it's clapped with them. Very nice. I am actually going to score that. Eight and a half out of ten. Cheers, everybody.